Hello everyone. Hello, Kimusta Keho. Emma stops. And in Hausba. We are here to help you know the manual equipment used in housekeeping. I will say the equipment, he will discuss it to you, so you listen attentively. Are you ready? Brushes. These are designed to remove dry or wet dust and dirt from hard or soft surfaces. Brooms. This consists for long bristles gathered together and inserted to a handle. The bristles may be made of grass, corn, or coconut fibers. Used in removing dirt in large areas. Box sweepers. These are also called carpet sweepers and are used for sweeping dust and litter from soft floor coverings like rugs and carpets. These are ideal for the removal of spills and light cleaning of small carpeted areas. Dry mops. These are called dust control mops and are designed to remove soil and dirt from floor, wall, and ceilings without scattering dust. These consists of a handle to which a metal frame is attached. Wet or damp mop. These are used with buckets to remove dirt sticking on surfaces. The mop head can be made of cotton, sponge, or any other fiber capable of absorbing moisture. Cloths. There are different types of cloths used extensively in wet and dry cleaning. These may be color coded for efficient use. Polish applicators. For efficiency of application, these are usually oblong in shape. The polishing head should slide out from the metal or plastic casing to enable easy replacement. There are three kinds of polish applicators, natural lamb's wool, synthetic wool, and solid wax. Containers. These serve as placement for carrying, transporting, collecting, and storing supplies and other items for easier and efficient work. Sundry equipment. This includes other pieces of equipment used in the housekeeping department like ladders, carpet beaters, abrasive pads, rubber gloves, airing racks, flit pumps, and choke removers. Ladders. These are generally made of woods or metals. There they are, the manual equipment used for cleaning. We hope you get it all. Bye. See you around.